I was reading a great article in the New York Times Sunday Magazine on the risks and the rewards of yoga. We hear a lot about the rewards of yoga, but we don't hear so much in the news media about the risks of yoga. And yet, yoga is probably the biggest source of uh, injuries for, for, for many people, the uh, you know, biggest source of income for physical therapists. So, New York Times reports, Indian practitioners of yoga typically squatted and sat cross-legged in daily life. Yoga poses, or what are called asanas, were an outgrowth of these postures. Now people in the Western world, they tend to sit in chairs all day and they work into a yoga studio a couple of times a week and stretch and strain and to twist themselves to ever more difficult postures, despite their lack of flexibility and other physical problems. And uh, supposedly yoga is gentle, and it can be, but uh, a lot of people are getting injured. And uh, many schools of yoga are just pushing people beyond their limits. So uh, so one teacher in Manhattan, the the article quote, says that most people in the Western world should not do yoga. Interesting, I don't have a position either way. Um, It's not for me to comment, but uh, I think there's some wisdom in this warning from the New York Times Sunday magazine. So be careful out there, don't push yourself beyond your limits. Of course, if you do yoga with Alexander technique, take some Alexander lessons and learn to move the way the body likes to move, then you will dramatically reduce your chances of injuring yourself.